We chose this topic because we feel it is important for everyone to know women are not the only ones who get raped. Many people do not accept the fact that men are also victims of sexual assault. This is because of the stereotypes created by society that men are dominant and strong. Therefore, the idea of men being raped is non-existent. To do something uh, you know, sexually against your will? Non-consensual sex? When someone has sex with someone uh, forcibly or against their will? Know of any resources that aid male rape victims? No. What? I don't know. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't think of it. Is there, is there a resource for that? Um, no. No, right? No. Not at all? No, I don't think so. Um, no. How does this make you feel to know that there are in resources for male rape victims? Pretty disturbing knowing that he's not able to, to get that help that he needs. Mm -hmm. um, I'm honestly a little disappointed because if we ever want to move past stereotypes and sexism and whatever, we need to treat everyone straight, equally, none of this preferential stuff. I mean, yes, there are physical differences that require physical different things, but in terms of things like this, it's it's not the same, but they're close enough that I think that they should be treated similar. Our group came up with strategies for change. Educational seminars. Its purpose would be to inform the community on male sexual assaults. These seminars should be held in the neighborhood watch meetings. Training for professional aid, where hospitals, school faculty, and law enforcement are trained on how to respond to a male who has been raped. Creating safe zones. Safe zones should be held by clinics and recreation centers. These places should be confidential and comfortable for male rape victims.